That rat of a landlord has cut the picture again. There was an unusual amount of activity in the area of the San Andreas Fault last night. Ah oh, well, at least I've still got the sound. The tremors took the geological community by surprise. Carnby. Greg Saunders, Hill Century. Cut it short, Greg. I've got problems. You're onto a new case? No, not really, no. I'm alone in the dark. I'll explain some other time. Edward, I got a western that's high and dry in the desert. What, has Billy Silver got a cold? The film crews disappeared. A thousand bucks plus expenses. Five hundred. Eight hundred. Conby, Emily Hoffman found her. Yeah, your friend. She was part of the crew. Oh, then it's twelve hundred. Okay. Have you got a map handy? Something to write with? Sure. I got a map and five secretaries at the end of each arm. Go ahead. You see Barstow to the east of L.A.? You go south from there, some 50 miles, then off to the east, about 5 miles. After Las Vegas, go about as far as that black line. You see that on the map? That is the San Andreas Fault. Hey, that's the Mojave Desert out there. Conby, there's a town there. Well, it's not really a town. It's a ghost town, more like. Slaughter Gulch. Okay, I'm your man. Deadstone came to the field of graves. Buried his hands in Mojave graves. He found himself a golden bird. And soon the wind unspread the word. Prospectors came from miles around. Eleven days they dug the ground. 
But there was evil in that mud, and Slaughter Gulch was born in blood. The whiskey seller, he came to, and hid his liquor out of view. The varmint who can turn that horn and tell the tale just ain't been born. Eleven days and nights did pass. And Sheriff Dawson came at last. He swore his band of lawless men would follow Stone until the end.